Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the version 22064.1680. This is the latest build for the beta channel, as I've said. And Microsoft is introducing some new improvements and a lot of fixes for the beta channel. So for those of you who are enrolled in the beta channel, today is a great day to update to this latest version. Of course, don't forget to check out the article below if you're not familiar with how the beta channel works. And of course, if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, you're going to be able to see the evolved widget sport, which is basically a testing that Microsoft is doing with a three column widget sport. I don't know if this is very useful at the moment, but I think it would be really useful when we will have a lot of third party widgets that we can install. Also, the animated widgets is rolling out to the better channel. So of course, if you want to manually enable it, if you don't have it yet, you can check out some of my previous videos in which I showed you how to enable those. Also, the new features for app defaults in Windows 11 are included in this build. The features for app pinning are coming in a future fly. And of course, Microsoft is continuing to improve and also fix the File Explorer, for example. Microsoft fixed the following issues for insiders with access keys in File Explorer. Shift plus right-clicking on a file or folder should now open the show more options again now. And also, they adjusted how Narrator was reading out the access keys and for pressing the menu key to make it clearer. Regarding input, Microsoft fixed an issue where the touch keyboard and pin entry wasn't appearing on the login screen for touch-capable PCs in the previous flight due to an underlying crash. Regarding notifications, Microsoft fixed an issue where 2FA codes weren't being recognized if they were in parentheses. And we also have a bunch of fixes regarding the task manager. So for example, Microsoft fixed an issue where if you searched for service host in the processes section, it wasn't returning any results. Also, they improved the performance of the expand slash collapse all view options on the processes page. They fixed an issue where the search icon could end up overlapping the task manager icon in the title bar, and also the search box should no longer be cropped at the top when the window is maximized. They fixed an issue impacting task manager reliability, and also double-clicking the task manager's title bar to maximize the window should work again now. And we also have a bunch of fixes for both builds in the beta channel. For example, this update changes firewall settings, you can now configure application group rules, and also this update addresses an issue that displays displays task view in the wrong area. This occurs when you close a full screen game by pressing win plus tab. Of course, the list of fixes and improvements is a lot larger, but I wanted to mention only those who seemed a bit more interesting. But if you want to see the full list of fixes and improvements, you can check out the article below in the video's description. Let's talk about also some known issues. I normally don't talk about them, but I think maybe this time we can talk about two known issues that we have on this build. So regarding the search on the taskbar, if you have the bank button in the search box on the taskbar and you restart your computer, Computer, you may see the daily rotating search highlight for some time before getting the Bing button back. And also regarding widgets, when you launch the widgets board for the first time, you may see momentarily placeholders of the widgets slash feed cards of the old two column layout, even if your device supports three columns. So basically, this is it for this latest beta channel build for Windows 11. Of course, check out the article below for more info and in-depth information about this build. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.